We're here at the String Builder covering some of the other additional options that can be used in this screen. The first one is adding a downhole motor. And if we click on that tab, it will pull up a library of all the motors that we currently have in our library. There's a lot of information behind the scenes on each one of these motors, and I'll go into detail on that in just a minute. So let's say that we want to add a 9 and 5 eighths motor to this particular string. 9.625, and let's just say that it's a um, 6, 7 lobe configuration. Well, it turns out that in the library, only this particular Schlumberger motor is a 9 and 5 eighths, 6, 7 lobe. If I want to add it to the string, then I can click on it and drag it over anywhere on the well bore, preferably the green area. And now I've just added this particular motor, which has these properties. Now to go into a little bit of detail, the common descriptors I think everyone understands. Uh, the OD, the number of lobes, how many stages, um, how much torque is generated for every PSI of differential, the displacement of the motor, the length of the motor, its weight, maximum differential part pressure, the power that it outputs, maximum flow rate, and the effective total flow area is how we determine the pressure drop through the motor under no load. What might not be as common for most people are these four decay values. We have decay parameter A, B, C, and D. What we've done is painstakingly digitized the performance curves of every motor that's in the library by taking the performance data sheet from the manufacturer and digitizing the roll-off or decay of rotary speed, or bit speed I should say, of the motor as differential is applied. And so what we're able to do in ERA is if we assume a certain differential or calculate a certain differential across the motor, then the speed of the motor will be recalculated based on the decay or reduction in speed based on these performance curves. These performance curves are also how we obtain the relationship between differential and torque, which is a linear relationship. This black line illustrates the performance for this particular 9 and 5 eighths Bico motor. The decay parameters are the parameters that are used in a best fit polynomial equation. And to give you a little bit of an idea of what that looks like, if we pull up our motor database and look at some of the details, what we've done is pick several points along the roll-off of the rotary speed of the motor. This is differential versus percentage reduction in rotary speed. And then used Excel to create a best fit fourth order polynomial to fit that data. And then we've taken the coefficients on each one of those polynomial, each one of those parameters, and that equation is then plugged into ERA to calculate the roll-off for a given amount of differential. Each motor in the database has a specific set of decay parameters. Those shouldn't be edited unless you really understand what you're doing. When I've input the motor, now if I'm using predictive ROP, which we'll get into a little bit later on, then the pressure drop across the motor will be calculated based on the weight on bit and the aggressivity of the bit that I'm using and the compressive strength of the rock that I'm drilling through. Again, we'll come back and revisit that a little bit later on. 